So we're out here today on the cat. This is like the slough that separates Kaskaskia from Missouri. Okay, so basically, there's Illinois. We're on the Missouri side. We're fishing this river for carp. This is well, technically. This is technically the Mississippi. Technically. Technically. Here, the you explain what it is. I'm not good at explaining things. So that's the island of Kaskaskia, and which is a part of Illinois. This is Missouri. Um, this is the slough that runs between Missouri and Kaskaskia, and then it connects the river. So technically, it's the Mississippi River. Is that good enough? Is that my pole? That moved. Oh, I think it is. I have to hook hard to see what happens. I don't know if he's got it. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes. It's not very big. Oh, oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Okay, hooked into the first one. Not that big, but uh, still a, still a fish. Oh, dude, I saw him. I saw him. Is it on? Oh, yeah, it's not that big. He's coming in. He's fighting pretty hard right here at the shore, but he, I can see him. He's about two feet from the shore. Which way is your line? Do you want me to get him? I got him. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. By the tail? Hold on. Stop. Oh my gosh. They don't stop fighting, my gosh. Oh, it's bleeding. There that guy is. First carp of the day. Not a very big one, but uh, we're gonna get the hook out of this guy and we're gonna put him back in the water. Okay, again, fish number one. This is a nice little common here, and uh, we're gonna go for the release. Dude, that's sick. That's so you wanna give him a foot. Because the carp can be kind of line shy. And depending on the clarity of the water, you use smaller lines and stuff. So this is like 12 pound fluoro, but it's been sitting for a while, so it's probably like 9 or 10 pounds. But you want to use a treble hook because it penetrates well. They have really gummy mouths. And you want to get a good hook set in them, and you want to make sure that that hook stays in there. You give them a foot because they want to roll it around in their mouths, and if they feel weight, it's going to spook them. And if they take more than a foot, they're going to lift up on that little split shot there, and then the egg weight's more, and then it'll slide so that you don't feel the egg weight. Then when you, you know, set the hook on them, that egg weight kind of pulls. But the egg weight's more for casting. You can get it out there. But yeah, that's what that's how that works. Hooked up. Fish number two. This one. He's bigger. He's a little bigger. I thought it was bigger, dude. Dude, I, he was all the way out there, and mm -hmm. whenever he hit, he almost pulled my thing in the water. Yeah. Dude, he hit like a freaking truck. And almost pulled my. Almost pulled the rock. How long the water. was his run? It wasn't very long. He ran like really fast, and then it it was done. It was like he fought like the other one the whole time. That's crazy. Dude, this one's a lot thicker than the other one. Slippery. Carp number two. Look at that bad boy. That thing's sick. 
carp number two of the day. <laughs> we didn't get the the hook set on camera, but uh, he almost took my pole in the water. This one's a little bigger. Look how big that tail is on that guy. That thing's huge. That's what gives him so much power. Yeah, it's dude. Like... This is my second carp of my life. The first one was my first carp. And uh, second carp I've ever laid hands on. So uh, we're gonna get this guy unhooked and we're gonna release him. This is just a beautiful fish. Second carp of my life. Talk about how they're like a trash fish. Like, like yeah, most people would probably shoot this thing with a bow, but they fight so hard. It's it's awesome. This one isn't even that big, and it's fought pretty hard. So uh, we're gonna go for the release. You got him. <laughs> 